It's a clear and a cool night in Jacksonville, Florida. The Gator Bowl tonight featuring Oklahoma State against Florida State as Florida State receives the kick. Keith Ross and Chuck Wells, that's Wells on the right, back to receive. And Joey O'Donnell, a freshman, will kick off for Oklahoma State. Again, Florida State favored by about a touchdown. Most people expect this to be a pretty low-scoring game. Here we go. The 41st Gator Bowl is underway with the ball in the air. A wobbly short kick that is fielded up at the 13-yard line by the freshman Keith Ross, and he stopped at the 22. The freshman at quarterback, but at tailback they have Tony Smith. Then Cletus Jones is the fullback. Randy White, the wide receiver, number 82, has not caught a pass, and Herb Gaynor, first and 10, from the 22-yard line. The fake pitch, he pumps, and goes deep on the first play, and hits his man, Randy White, who makes the first catch of the season at the 33-yard line. And if that's going to be your first catch, make it a deep post pass. Melvin Gillum was covering on the play, the fake draw, and again, it's Ferguson going to the air. At the 22-yard line to Randy White. So the guy doesn't catch a pass all season, and he's caught two in the first few seconds of the game. Up front, Lopez, the offensive tackle on one side. Tomberlin is a 313-pounder. Henley, a spell 257. Jamie Dukes has made some All-America teams, number 64. At the 22, Ferguson, who is two for two, going for the end zone and has it picked off by Gillum. So he two for two, seeks the touchdown, and Gillum intercepts the freshman. And now Oklahoma State, after the touchback, takes over at the 20-yard line. The Cowboys for their first series. And it's Thomas who gains two up to the 22-yard line. Let's look at the Oklahoma State backfield. That's Ronnie Williams, broken jaw in the opener, but came back to have a good year. Thurman Thomas was 10th in the Heisman voting as a sophomore. Will Timmons is the blocking back. Bobby Riley has good speed. And on the other side, more of the possession. Thomas is the tailback. As Riley goes in motion on second down and eight from the 22-yard line. Again, it's Thomas who cuts back inside. Good little move is up front. J.R. Dillard is the tight end. Then you've got Chuck Shanklin, a 275-pounder. Derek Burton is a 255-pounder. Tucker weighs in a 260. Meacham, a 240-pounder. And their best offensive lineman is that man, Paul Blair. Third down, two. Cowboys from their own 28-yard line. This the start of things at the Gator Bowl with no score. Williams keeping and does not get it. He is taken down just shy of the 30. Rich Thompson, who averaged a shade over 40 yards a kick, spirals that one down to Deion Sanders at the 33. And Sanders takes it back out to the 43-yard line. Now Florida State with the football from the 43-yard line. That's White in motion. Ferguson has thrown on all four plays thus far and hits Herb Gaynor. And Gaynor takes it to the 45. First and 10 from the 45-yard line. And Ferguson will keep it going. His fifth pass straight over the middle is tipped and almost caught in the sandwich. Second down and 10, Florida State at the 45-yard line. This time an inside give to Smith. As you look at the line and the linebackers, got to clear up some fifths as long as we have the chance tonight. Leslie O'Neill is the key man there, and there is the Oklahoma State secondary. Maybe the Navy stole the play, and the announcers referred to it as the Utah pass. They've been doing it ever since. On third and 13, pressure, and this time Ferguson is dropped at the 44-yard line. Florida State would have a definite advantage in the kicking game. Their punter and place kicker are both exceptional and a good kick. Backs Riley up to the 11-yard line. And a 10-yard run back to the 21. Thurman Thomas is the tailback, a sophomore. Ronnie Williams, the quarterback. First and 10. Thomas, back of Timmons, can't get started. No game. And he, along with two others, will be right now Consider the favorites for the 1986 Heisman Trophy. Back to pass on play action is Williams, throwing for Riley, but it's out of bounds. Third down and nine, Bill Richardson comes in as the nickel back for Florida State. 
And a straight drop by Williams with pressure from the outside. But he gets it away and finds his man out at the 39-yard line. Hart Lee Dykes from the 39 after an 18-yard pickup on first and 10. Timmons, his first carry of the night. Beamer split left. Riley to the right. Looking Weimer's way. And out to the 46, and a flag is thrown. So he... And it's a personal foul against Florida State. First and 10 after the 15-yard penalty. Ball at the 39-yard line. Thurman Thomas to the right side. Looks for room and never finds it. And second and 10. the middle and into traffic and incomplete looking left and right all and he really had a sense of operating the quick passing and possession uh, passing game on third and 11 from the 40 yard line Thurman Thomas looking for the first down and has it first and 10 ball at the 28 yard line Impressive drive thus far for the Cowboys with a deep drop. Williams started to slip, maintains his balance, and turns it into a gain. He better learn the hook slide, though, if he wants to stick around for longevity. Pitch to Thomas, and down he goes, slipping on the turf. So third down and five at the 26-yard line. Williams throwing for Riley, and he was pressured, and it's incomplete. A 42-yard attempt by Joey O'Donnell, whose longest this year is 38 yards. This one is long enough, but it is wide. So he had the distance, not the accuracy, and also a penalty marker is down at the 33-yard line as they run into him. And is the recipient of the flag. Let's see if you can see how O'Donnell was run into. There it is right there by... Uh, now the line of scrimmage is the 27-yard line. It'll be a 37-yard attempt for O'Donnell. Again, as long as this season, 38. And this time, the kick is still no good. So he fails twice from Jones at $100 a copy in violation of the rules. Florida State thus declared him ineligible, kept the NCAA a prize, and he's out of the game. Ferguson, meanwhile, finds number three, Herb Gaynor. And uh, he is the quarterback of the future. Two former FSU quarterbacks. Here is Smith on to the 50-yard line. No score, second down and eight from the 50-yard line. Ferguson rolling, gets it away as he's hit, and it's incomplete. Two-time All-American, two-time Lombardi Finals. On third and eight from the 50-yard line. Ferguson finds his man over the middle. That's Pat Carter, the tight end, the sophomore. At the 39-yard line, first and dead. 4.48 to go in the quarter with no score. Ferguson. Complete inside the 30, Herb Gaynard. Ferguson is 7 out of 10. He's already thrown for over 100 yards. And on first down, Ferguson has his pass tipped and incomplete. Make it easier. Second and 10 from the 28. Throw off to Smith. Hit at the 22. Breaks a couple of tackles and gets down to the 14-yard line. Spins to the outside for the valuable yardage. On first down from the 14-yard line. Good protection. Ferguson going for the end zone. Tipped and nearly caught, but incomplete. Have a push football. Roughing the passer. On the defense. First down. Pretty obvious. <laughs> Graphic description. And a first down. Automatic first down from the seven-yard line. First and goal. Ferguson has it batted and complete. He's to the left, Herb Gaynor, split to the right on second and goal from the seven-yard line. And it's Jones, Cletus Jones from the eight. The reverse, right, stopped at the six-yard line. 
So now a 13-yard field goal attempt for, from the 13, Derek Schmidt, a 23-yarder. And that's an automatic for him, a man who has not missed an extra point in his career at Florida State or in his high school career. And that was little more than an extra point in terms of distance. 2.28 to go. First quarter, the Seminoles on top, 3 nothing. Defensive lineman who was recruited as a running back wears number six and runs back kicks. It's in Riley's direction. He feels five yards deep in the end zone, and Florida State was blown out by Florida. 38-14 in a game in which the Gators led 28 to nothing early on. From the 20, Ronnie Williams throws, and it's incomplete. Compared to Hilger last year, who was able to consistently keep drives going with high percentage passes. Thomas, close to the 28, on third and three, from the 27. Thomas again over the left side and has the first down. Mark of a good runner. Quick flip and a first down to number 20, Curtis Looper. Florida State on top, 3-0. Under a minute to play in the first quarter. Make to Thomas. And then Williams fires over the middle to Dykes at the 39-yard line. First and 10. Cowboys from the 39 of the Seminoles. And it's Thomas trying to move back the other way, but there's nothing there in Garth. So that's the end of the first quarter. It was a wide-open quarter, but still it's only 3-0 Florida State. At the Florida State 37-yard line, Ronnie Williams, the quarterback. Flushed out. Throws low, incomplete. Third down nine, Oklahoma State at the Seminole 37-yard line. Pressure, the blitz is on, he gets it away, and it's nearly picked off at the 28-yard line. Anybody back deep. As it's angled for the far side, bounces and is down inside the five at the two-yard line. First and ten at the two-yard line. Play action, throws from his end zone, and a flag goes down. We have a pass interference against Beck. And if you run that out through the course of the game, it would mean they would throw close to 50 times before this one is done. From the 17 on first down, Smith, big hole, through the middle and all the way out to the 38-yard line. Have it a fellow who suffered two concussions and came out for that reason. The fake to Smith, and it's complete out to the 50-yard line to Randy White. <laughs> Thank you, Ted Mack. <laughs> on first down from the 48-yard line, <laughs> It is Smith. We all get roped into this. <laughs> First and 20, Florida State just penalized for the third time in the game with the ball at the 42. Inside handoff given to Victor Floyd. Second and 21 from the 41. Ferguson dumps it off and a screen pass that never developed. Third and 21 from the 41. Ferguson has a lot of time, goes deep, and incomplete. And Lewis Berry, who averaged better than 43 yards a kick, gets off of beauty. Riley backs up, fields near the 7, comes out past the 10, and is buried at the 15-yard line. Told him to set his VCR, going to have you on. First and 10, Oklahoma State from the 15-yard line. And the pass is low. Well, it's second down and 10 from the 15-yard line. 3-0. Florida State on top. Thomas. 25-30 to the 35. And it's first down from the 39-yard line. Out of bounds, Florida State territory. The face mask fraction. Both teams putting it up. Williams to throw again. And dropped. 
So he's on target this time. Second down, 10 from the 49-yard line. Fake to Thomas, and it's Dykes coming back on the reverse. Bumped down at the 49-yard line. Third down and 10. Richardson becomes the fifth defensive back for Florida State. From the 49. Pressure from the backside. And he's sacked at the 47. Richardson. The kick in the direction of Sanders, who takes it at the 8. And can't break a tackle at the 10. It almost figured to be the opposite coming into this game. We'll explain in a moment as Smith takes it out to the 16. In a way, the defending Gator Bowl champions and going to a bowl for the third straight year. On second down and five, it's complete to Pat Carter, the tight end. And he... First and 10, Florida State from the 26. Fake to Smith. And then Ferguson going deep, looking for White and incomplete at the 26-yard line. Smith picks his way out to the 28-yard line. Third and eight. Ferguson and dropped by Cletus Jones. Again. And the Seminoles also having trouble uh, tro keeping their drives going. Barry's kick is fair caught. As Ronnie Williams, who's had an erratic first half as the quarterback. Timmons, the fullback. Thomas, the tailback. Fake to Thomas. Everybody goes into the pattern. And Williams goes deep for Riley, who's out in front. But the pass is underthrown and dropped by Deion Sanders. Williams five out of 14 for 60 yards. On second down, that doesn't fool anybody. Thomas is wrapped up from the 26-yard line. The crowd amusing itself with the wave as Williams calls the signals. And drops back under pressure, throws against the grain and incomplete. Will accept the snap at the 12-yard line. And it's a wobbly and a short kick that goes out of bounds at the 46-yard line. And was rumored to be the head coach at Pittsburgh after Foge Fazio was fired earlier this winter. Back to Ferguson, the freshman quarterback. This time with split backs and it's incomplete but he's been bothered by the after effects of shoulder surgery and so Ferguson who is number four on the depth chart throws his 20th pass of the game Barry to kick Riley calls for a fair catch but lets it go and it bounces into the end zone how exciting they were Oklahoma State, starting from the 20-yard line on first down, starts this drive on the ground. It's Thomas just have these drives that never seem to get going. Exactly. And from the 19, it's second and 11 with Williams, the quarterback. Thomas, not much room for him. And they will give him the ball in short yardage situation. Third down and 10, quarterback draw, and Williams is stuck at the 25-yard line. Punt again. Feels the low snap, gets the kick away, a high kick. Backing up, taking into the 29 is Deion Sanders. The blocking does not form, so he slips to the outside, gets out past the 40. He's into Oklahoma State territory and run down near the 40-yard line. We have a... Receiving team, first down. It's going to negate the return. From the 24-yard line, Smith churns his way out. Second and six, Ferguson, the freshman, somehow escapes the sack and gets out to the 36-yard line. Three minutes to go in the half. 
Ferguson sending two wide receivers to the right. Runs the play the other way on the ground with Smith taking it out to the 45. Second down and a couple of inches from the 44-yard line. And with this free down, Ferguson will try to cash in through the air and does. Number 82, Randy White makes the catch. Ferguson going for the end zone, looking for Gaynor. Some bumping, some shoving, and he makes the catch off the deflection for the touchdown. the concentration at the end of the play here by Gaynor as Denise Williams appears to have the ball momentarily. It pops out of his hands. And now Schmidt, who's been perfect for the past two seasons, boots it through with 231 remaining in the half. Her Gaynor, one of those getting a lot of time tonight because of the Florida State receiving situation, having scored the touchdown as Riley runs the kickback. Now the Cowboys from the 21-yard line on first and 10. Ronnie Williams throws a bullet to Riley, and that's a first down. First and 10 from the 34. Again, Weaver. They're already down by 10. Williams slips, gets the pass away, but it's incomplete. The temperature is down in the 40s. Over the middle, and that's complete to the tight end, J.R. Diller. Low snap, but he comes up with it. Thompson gets it away, and a fair catch is called for and made at the 17-yard line, and his range extends out to about 50 yards, as long as the season is 51. But they pitch it to Smith on play number one, and Smith has some room to the 30, 35, dropped at the 36-yard line. Looked like he was hurt momentarily, but now he's okay. 81 yards and nine carries for him, averaging nine per rush, and the pass is complete on the near side. Pat Carter was all alone and he's run out of bounds in cowboy territory three receptions for 41 yards equaling his best effort of the season first down from the 43 ferguson back to throw going deep over the middle and incomplete it's been about an hour and a half first half it is second down and 10 from the 43 yard line smith to the 32 and he's turned in a good performance. First and ten with Ferguson. Back to throw. Throws it over the middle and it's knocked down. Second and ten. Ferguson nearly had that one picked off. Some mistiming there. Draw up and it's Floyd, the redshirt freshman who is shy of the first down. Good. Just inside the left upright. 39-yard field goal for Smith. Look for that baby, huh? <laughs> Bouncer right down the middle. Fielded at the nine-yard line by Riley. He works his way to the outside, but they run him out of bounds as the clock runs out in this very long first half. And the game that started at 8.08 Eastern time, we reach the half at 9.45 p.m. Good morning, America. Halftime at the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, and we'll be back with halftime activities after this word from your local stations. And his team has the lead. His team will also kick off Derek Schmidt to kick it as we start the second half at the Gator Bowl. At the goal line, it's Bobby Riley, number one, back of a wedge, and a 21-yard run back. Ronnie Williams, and right now, they come out of their basic eye with a single setback, and that is Thomas who takes the ball. Thomas, 
They send Ken Brown in motion and pitch it to Thomas. And Thomas wrestles his way out to the 29-yard line where it will be third down and two. Third down and two. Now back to the basic formation with the blocking back. Timmons leading the way for Thomas. And Timmons and Thomas lining up back of Williams. They fake to Thomas, send him out into the pattern, and throw out to Hartley Dykes, who takes it first and ten. Back-to-back -back first downs to begin the second half for the Cowboys. Williams to Thomas on the screen, cuts to the outside, and he really did that himself. A quick screen out to the right flat, and he picks his way behind his wall of blockers. They get it to him again, but it's smelled out by the Florida State defense. Riley is split to the left. Weimer is split to the right. On second down and 14 from the 43. Straight drop by Williams and protection. Looking for Riley, and Riley with a flag going down. Or the boundary would be as the interference court. 11.47 to play in the third period. Florida State leading 13 to nothing. Williams finds Dykes to the 21. That's five receptions now for 67 yards. Thurman Thomas. Brutal conditions, and the Sooners won at 13 to nothing. Williams gives it to Thomas. Picking and threading. And gets two to the 16. It is second down and eight. Thomas is the sole back. Weimer is split to the right. And with Riley split to the left. And a roll to the left. Looking toward third down and eight instead of a first down. And they've had trouble converting on third down tonight. With the exception of this drive. Williams lofting it for Dykes at 6-4. He goes up and does not make the catch. He did not maintain possession in the end zone. It's a nice mismatch for the offensive unit, and it appears here that Dykes has it for the touchdown. I didn't see him drop it. From the 23-yard line, a 33-yard attempt by Joey O'Donnell is good. From this low angle, we can see a little better if Dykes indeed has possession of the football. No, it's a good call. Right there is where he lost possession. 9.46 to play, third period, 13-3, Florida State. <laughs> Responding to what? I had no idea. Turned out to be a great game, though. The kickoff taken at the six-yard line by Keith Ross. And the freshman gets upended, loses the football at the 27, but he was down. The contact with the ground jarred the ball loose. As Ferguson drops back, sets up the screen, and it's a good screen with Smith out past the 30 to 35. And Smith lost control momentarily, but regains it along with Cletus Jones. Jones, number 42. Complete at the fort, no, incomplete at the 41-yard line. In the secondary at Oklahoma State. Second and 10. It's a fumble. But Keith Ross, third down and 11 from the 38-yard line. The fake to Smith. And Ferguson throws over the middle. Complete to Gaynor. And a first down. Five receptions, 116 yards. That one good for 25. It's Jones. Cletus Jones, the fullback. So they've been going with people like Randy White, who hadn't caught a pass all year, and Herb Gaynor. And that one is thrown to the tight end. Keith Panton. First down of the 23-yard line. Ferguson for the end zone, and incomplete intended for Gaynor, allowing 137 and a half yards a game. That should really have an asterisk next to it, though. Second down and 10, and the pass is dropped by Smith. Third and 10 from the 23. Smith has room. Drops the football. 
A scramble for it at the two-yard line, and who has it? He does. 20 yards on that pickup, 110 yards on 11 carries for the night. On first down, they give it to Smith again on the pick, seeking room to the outside and doesn't have it. His fourth 100-yard game of the season. The others came early. Second and goal from the three. Fake cross and the pass incomplete. Intended play just about the entire game. And he's outrushed Thomas with seven fewer carries. Third and goal. Jones, touchdown. Everybody was looking for Smith or the pass. And they give it to Cletus Jones, the fullback, and nobody was thinking about him. Third and goal, and the defense figuring to go with your main man. As daylight to score the touchdown. Smith converts for the 46th consecutive time this season. 6.02 to go in the third period. It's 20-3, Seminole. Riley is back deep. And animal imagery as well. Yep. First down from the 20-yard line. Thomas on the flea flicker. Back to Williams. He goes deep for Riley. And the pass is picked off at the 34-yard line by Sanders. And he's got some blocking. And he's inside the OSU 40 and taken down at the 36. First down, Florida State, <laughs> the Oklahoma State, 36-yard line. They lead by 17. Ferguson, incomplete. Well, I like their chances at this point. I got to yep, say, I do by too. 17. On second down and 10, Ferguson has that one deflected away. As a result of that, Chip Ferguson has been able to put up some very impressive numbers. Third and 10 from the 37-yard line. Ferguson with a very deep drop. He's pursued. Throws his man for a first down. Pat Carter. But Chip Ferguson has the potential to be one of the greatest of all. First and 10 at the 19-yard line. And he throws, and it's incomplete. And the pass was right there. Randy White. Second and 10 from the 19-yard line. To throw again. For the end zone. Touchdown. Coming into the game had caught five passes all year. Point after. Splits the middle. Gainer beat Mark Moore, the all big eight defensive back on that one. And with 451 to go in the period, it's 27 to 3. And now he has a year's experience under his belt and comes back as a highly touted sophomore next year. Kickoff taken by Bobby Riley at the one. He gets out to the 18. Ouija Thompson, Jesse Hester, and of course Hassan Jones. Not bad. First down from the 21-yard line as Thurman Thomas has some room through the middle and is spun down at the 29-yard line. 27-3 is the score. Florida State. Second down and two. As it's taken up the middle by Will Timmons, the fullback. And yet Florida State was favored by a touchdown, and they lead here by 24. Williams back to throw. He has Riley down the sideline, and Riley is out of bounds at the 35. So some thought they would come in flat, but they haven't. First down from the 35. Williams finding Weimer, and he stays in bounds. It's now on its 41st renewal as Williams under a lot of pressure throws back the other way to Thurman Thomas he gets inside the 20 the 10 and goes all the way for a touchdown so Thurman Thomas had some room as they set up the backside screen into the end zone for the touchdown now the extra point attempt by Brad Dennis is good 
and still plenty of time. 17 minutes and 52 seconds to be precise as Oklahoma State gets into the end zone. Florida State leads 27 to 10. Ross, the freshman, from the four. Out to the 19. At the 19-yard line, Florida State with the ball. 2.46 to go in the third. And this is the freshman, Ross, who takes it to the 26-yard line. On second down, first man through his feet is Jones. And a lot of the Cowboy backers who made the trip in 84 passed on it in 85. Ferguson gets buried, loses the football, and Oklahoma State has recovered at the 12. Melvin Gillum with the hit, and just like that, we may have a making... To Thomas, who has thrown for three touchdowns in his career, and he has thrown for a fourth. Thurman Thomas has now thrown the football five times in his two seasons at Oklahoma State, four of them for touchdowns. And the Cowboys have now scored on three of their four possessions in this half. Two touchdowns and a field goal, and it's 27 to 17. From the 12. Out to the 33 yard line. First and 10 from the 34 yard line. Ferguson takes the draw, throws over the middle, complete as he finds his tight end, Pat Carter. Who guards five receptions now for 80 yards, 22 on that last reception. On uh, first down from the 45-yard line, there's Keener who makes his seventh catch of the game, and he has a first down, first and ten, Seminoles at the 31-yard line. Ferguson over the middle, and it is dropped, second and ten, from the 31-yard line. His 41st pass of the night an incompletion. Third and ten from the 32. Draw to Smith and he can't get free. The third quarter is history, but the Cowboys are back in the game. Florida State leads 27-17. Making 18 of 25 during the regular season and his longest 51 yards. But this one is blocked. And picked up by the Cowboys, it is Moore running back the other way. Moore out to the 25, the 30, and Moore hit down at the 38-yard line. And Oklahoma State. But it is Oklahoma State football, nonetheless, at the 38-yard line with Williams, the quarterback. So the Cowboys have turned it into a game off the play fake. He's going deep. He's looking for Dykes. And the pass is incomplete. He's the man who got his hand on it. And back to live action. The ball comes loose. But after the play had been blown dead. In total offense, turnover is beginning to be a factor now, however. From the 37 on third and 11, Williams back to throw. Under pressure, scrambles to his right, throws on the run, and incomplete. Up running half a dozen times in the first half. And this one is a poor kick off the side of his foot, and it comes back the other way. 13.38 to go in the game. And they start this drive on the ground with Tony Smith, the ball carrier. Second and four from the 50. Smith again. A first down and to the 33-yard line. First and ten at the 33-yard line. Smith again inside the 25 and rolled out of bounds in Florida State on top 27 to 17.
Racing flush out. And then run out of bounds. Second and 12 from the 23-yard line. Smith. It's a first down from the 12. it to the two-yard line, and that's close to a first down. First and goal. Ball at the two. Incomplete, and paying the price. Second and goal. Jones tries to leap into the end zone, but can't. He is not shy. and keeps it himself. Hey, he deserves it. Went in for the touchdown. Derek Schmidt boots it through, and with 10 minutes and 43 seconds remaining in the game, Florida State impressively marches down the field, and the Seminoles are back on top by 17. Crowd pleasing. A lot of points on the board when Florida State plays. Normally. From the six yard line is Bobby Riley coming back up the middle and tripped up beating Nebraska. Isn't that something that Oklahoma State would love to do? First down from the 27 yard line. And the pass is complete to Riley. Even if Oklahoma State loses this game, last year in fact, those were the only two games they lost. On second and three, down by ten, they needed to stop him and couldn't. Third and inches from the 38-yard line, and they let Thurman Thomas do it, and he tries to budge his way for a first down on first and ten. Ronnie Williams, the sophomore quarterback. Fakes to Thomas. And then hits number 87, J.R. Dillard. Williams just over 50% for 194 yards. Second down and four, the 44. Williams pursued, throws off balance and on the run, and incomplete at the 25-yard line. Third down and four with the ball at the 44-yard line. Thomas. Out of bounds at the Florida State 43. A victory if they do indeed hold on today. And a good immediate future for that ball club as Riley makes the catch and squirts down to the 33. Second and one at the 33. Williams fires to the 20-yard line, and a first down at ranked eight. Champions of the Southeastern Conference at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Fumble. Williams. No. Hit. Nope. Incomplete. Incomplete pass. Second down and 10 at the Seminole 20-yard line. Statue. Take it out of the playbook. Three receivers sent to the right side with the sole running back, Timmons, and blindside pressure applied on Williams, who throws, and it is incomplete. This time it's Dykes left, and Weimer and Riley split to the right. And with Riley coming in motion, he goes down the middle. The ball is lofted towards Weimer. It's short. It's picked off by Tracy Sanders, who nearly had one earlier. He's to the 35, the 40. Sanders picking up another blocker. And he stepped out of bounds. The play has been whistled dead. Back up field. Might as well run it out in prime time anyway, huh? From the 21, Smith. 
to the 26. Back to you. Oh, you can't do that to us. <laughs> Smith, not <laughs> past the 25 to the 29. You know, the thing is... Here it is, Tallahassee. It never stops. <laughs> Two from the 29-yard line. And the drive continues. Ferguson. To Smith. And somehow he slithers out, escapes. There goes the fumble. football again. He's been doing that all night long, and this time he does not recover his own fumble. And Smith finally figured out a way to end the champ. Their club leads 34-17, but Oklahoma State has the football at the 42-yard line. First and 10. Ronnie Williams, it's Thurman Thomas. Thomas looking for the sideline at first and then stays inbounds. Perhaps it's third consecutive defeat if they somehow don't rally to win this one. And the chances of that are quite slim. Riley is the intended receiver. And now in danger of finishing the season 8-4. Third and 5 from the 47-yard line. Thomas. First fumble, but a fumble. And Oklahoma State recovers at the 39-yard line. An offensive lineman. Williams on first and 10. Going deep. Flag goes down. It is intercepted at the goal line. Intercepted. Williams flinging his helmet down in disgust. Or maybe for naught. Williams hitting Hartley Dykes. And he does draw a crowd. Second down, 11. Oklahoma State at the Seminole 25-yard line. Williams, his right arm was grabbed by Darrell Gray, third and 14 at the 28. Williams, tip and incomplete. Fourth down and 15 at the 28-yard line as Williams throws under pressure and it is incomplete, nearly intercepted, but that was all academic.